We're on 212th Street, just east of Savannah. The fire department tells me every road pretty much looks like this. It is ankle deep where I'm standing. Farther back, it's about chest deep. We have seen some cars crossing through this area. This is what happened when the Stillaguamish flooded its banks today. And while the town says they're used to it, it is not convenient the day before Thanksgiving. Residents in the town of Savannah had to get creative to get around today. The fire department is telling people not to try and drive down the flooded roads, but some people are doing it anyway. Isaac Martin Photography shared this photo with us of what it looks like in town. On Facebook, Savannah Meats, which was forced to close, told customers it will be open at 4 a.m. tomorrow so they can pick up their turkeys. The Peace Lutheran Church canceled Thanksgiving services for tomorrow night. I woke up, I don't know, like 9, 9.30, and then I saw that you woke up to like from property. <laughs> Jared Cinema, who lives on the other side of the flooded Pioneer Highway, talked to us over the phone. He's been watching the waters rise all day. I took a shower and I came back out and now it's a lot deeper, so. So you're pretty much stuck here. Yeah, for the time being anyway. <laughs> Obviously, if, like, if somebody's having a heart attack or something down the road and they can't get to them, then they'd have to, I don't know, bring like a hubcraft or something to get across. And now it's, yeah, all the way up to, up to our mailbox or past our mailbox here, so. I think it's growing a little bit, rising a little bit. And your panic level is not rising with it? Um, I don't know. I mean, my feet are dry and we have a boat too. So if worse comes to worse, we have our boat. <laughs> The fire department says they already had to rescue one woman who tried to cross. Her car was too low and had to be rescued when her engine got flooded out. And of course, as the sun sets, as it is now, these roads, which are very flooded, are much harder to see. So they're asking everyone to be careful. Reporting live in Savannah, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.